Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 2 um, as Luigi and we're starting World 2. Um, didn't actually explain the different characters in this but Luigi is the only one we'll see. So basically Mario is the all-rounder. Um, Luigi, he jumps higher, floats like that, but he doesn't have less traction like normal I don't think. Toad is the fastest one, he picks up items faster than anyone else. Oh, I hate these flowers. They can they get annoying later on. And you get these awesome snakes as well. There's just so many awesome bad guys in this that like I said, they brought some of them back, like Bob Bombs and Shy Guys and that, but they didn't bring back so many of them they could have brought back. Okay. Uh, this is kind of tedious this bit. I'm invincible, I don't have to worry about the shy guys now. But I think Toad would be a good one to play as on this level because he picks things up faster. And Princess, she can fly. Basically, she floats for a few seconds in the air, which something they brought back in 3D. Obviously, their traits in this were brought back in 3D world. And obviously, Peach can float in Smash Brothers as well. Um, oh, that's a very quick level, that one. Go on and shoot your egg. Whoa, that was close. Okay. Oh god, I nearly fell off there. Alright, the Birdo fights do get harder later on, so you should start shooting fireballs as well. And some of them only shoot fireballs, so got that to look forward to. So that was a very quick first level there. Um, but it's not really much. I'm not a fan of. Um, I'm not a big fan of desert worlds in general in games. Um, they're just kind of bland. <laughs> There's so much sand everywhere. Um, there's not really much to talk about in this, although I do like the snakes. You throw them at bees. What well, other game lets you throw snakes at bees? Come on. Uh, right. Is there a potion in one? Oh, pumpkin. Cool. Whoa. The snakes shoot bullets as well. Mushroom. Oh, I pressed up. Ah, annoying. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Right now, you. That's it. Okay, you onto that one. I was going to make a daring escape by going through the door at the last second, but it wasn't so big. Right. Oh, then I lose that extra hit point I got just then. Wow. Okay, now as you've noticed, that's quicksand. You go under it, you die. <laughs> You get caught in it and then the snake shoots its bullets at you. I wonder if that actually is bullets they're shooting. Like I've still I've already got the um but oh yeah. You can actually get a nice little boost jump sometimes from that extra thing. But I'm not really doing very well at this one. I'm getting a bit too cocky really. Okay, heart. Let's found this one there. Eh? No, is that a bomb there? Whoa. Shy guy nearly got me. You're never to know what's under there. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh shit. Shit. Oh, okay. So you do you do the duck jump. Because ducking lets you jump higher apparently what's down here. Whoa, okay, potion in here, I think. Don't know which one though. But as long as there's a mushroom, hopefully. Oh, standing on it. <coughs> oh, I've got a bad throat. Okay, hopefully I can get an extra life out of these coins. Okay. So yeah, so these four characters, they brought back for 3D World, um, I didn't really go anywhere did they, but it's sort of like letting you use them in a platformer with their same traits, and then they also, I would say spoilers, but the game is a few years old now, and um, and you know, the trailer ruins this, but you get a fifth unlockable character, um, yeah I'll say it because everyone knows now, Rosalina. Um, who actually I thought was the best character because she had that spin jump thing which meant you got an extra 
jumps automatically with the character and also it worked as an attack so you didn't need the tanuki suit to actually attack people just by being near them and also like the little extra boost oh which one is it and i think i'm gonna go the wrong way <coughs> okay, wait for him to jump. okay cool oh even better oh i did go the right way cool um whoa okay but and that just made me think, oh, why didn't they add more characters to it? I'm like, I'm like that. It's like with Mario Kart Smash Bros. I'm always thinking of extra characters they should add. And I'm thinking Mario 3D Land. I was thinking of traits sort of thing. So like, why not have Wario as a playable character? He could be slower, not jump high, but he could sort of use his shoulder barge to go through things and um, do a stop machine. And you know there could be special blocks that only he could smash because they had sort of areas only. It oh, was specialised. Cool. And then I thought, why well, have Waluigi? I mean, he doesn't have any character traits sort of things. He's not been in the platformer properly. But why not make that? Because in Mario Power Tennis, his defensive move was to swim. So why not have him like be like a normal like Mario style platformer? But um. You know, he swims a lot better than everyone else. What's this way? Oh, nothing, okay. You know, and I thought, well, I'll have Yoshi. Um, Yoshi's awesome. Or at least have him rideable. Not that bloody dinosaur thing in the water. Well, I did like that dinosaur. Um, okay, no mushroom. That's interesting. Mushroom might have been on the other side. But yeah, on the... Um, remake of this game on the Game Boy Advance, there's um, Yoshi, I think it was Yoshi Eggs hidden in the um, potion world, so I'll call it. And you gotta find them, well, I found them all, it was pretty cool. Um, also there was voice acting, that was cool, like Mario go just what I needed, when, you, when they put that in all the advanced games, the uh, remakes. The Pokey's another one they brought back. In future games. Heart. No. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I see. I might die here because I'm this is a star coming. I'm not sure, I think there's sort of like a technique for these shogos, but I just tend to go one end. Dig down a few, run to the other, then dig down a few, but I mean, I'm not bothered to run invincible. Okay, it was right last time, so let's try left. The fact that there's a shy guy down there. Right, let's just get rid of him first. What? How did I die from that? Okay. Hi. Right, okay. I think they're called tweeters. Them. I don't know though. Maybe if they brought him back, we would all learn what his name is. Okay, go there. Go there. Okay. Oh, that I got that a little bit too late. Oh, I didn't matter which side you go down. Okay. Um. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. But the good thing is, if I did die there, I would have um, just respawned at that door. No, I'm not gonna. At least I've got a weapon now to get back up here with. Yes, a heart. That's what I wanted. I actually don't know what makes the hearts appear. I know it's to do with killing enemies, so maybe it's like every 10 enemies or something you kill. But as a kid I always thought it was like killing a certain number of enemies at the same time, like with a power block killing three at once, but obviously when you whatever the number is, when you kill several at a time, that's likely to pull it up. Um Right, um so I'm gonna boss fight now. 
Um, it's um, Tricleave, I think his name is. Another awesome character that should have been brought back. But I mean, as a lot of people are saying, should bring me back. That should be the next new Super Mario Brothers game. Just placed in Subcon, just these bad guys again. So basically, not a too hard of boss battle. One thing you can do, I'm doing it badly, is um, just do that and then the fireballs can't get you. Just set up like a sh shield, but I didn't do it right. Um, third one. There we go, nice and easy. And the magic door appears and kills the tweeter. Happy days. That was the first desert world. Um, I said the first desert world because there's another one coming. Joy. But at least there's no underwater worlds in this game, so I'll take desert over underwater any day. Um, no, no extra lies. So yeah, join me in part 3, where we take on World 3. It's quite working out well, these worlds. So see you then.